I'm not saying it was the worst course of action. I'm not even saying it was necessarily a bad choice at all. All I'm really saying is that if you're going to do something like that, you have to be prepared for the consequences. You can't expect to just swan through life and everything just fall the way you want it. That's not how life works. Some people just have a hard time realising that, so they go into every situation just assuming that everything is going to go smoothly for them. And then when something like this comes up, they really don't know how to deal with it and then they make choices that aren't necessarily what I would do in their position as somebody who is more attuned to the world's signal, I would say. I just feel like my mind is more on the same wavelength with the universe compared to some people. A lot of the choices I make, you may look at them and think, that's a little bit strange, what's he doing that for? But then if you wait maybe 10 minutes into the future, you'll look at it and then you'll get it. I just seem to move at a quicker pace mentally than a lot of people. And when you take into account the rotation of the Earth, time is a relative thing to people. And if you can just free yourself of the restraints that the human race has placed on you over the many centuries and millennia that we've been evolving, if you can just even loosen those restraints a little bit, then the mind can do some really amazing things. So even when you're faced with something like that, like a giant overgrown turnip jumping on you, you would know exactly what to do. You would have seen it coming. You would have already run through in your mind what could happen if you take course of action A or course of action B. It's like a fork in the road. And the way my mind works, it just allows me to see which way it's going to have which consequence beforehand. And a lot of people don't seem to grasp that. Some people don't seem to have any kind of foresight whatsoever. They go into these situations and they'll just pick any. They'll just make a decision. It doesn't matter if it's the right one to them. They just have to be seen to be decisive. They think that makes them manly or something. That's just the way society's programmed them, I'm afraid. People are just designed specifically this way. So that you don't think things through beforehand. You don't think that's the right course. This is a, another course, not necessarily wrong, but this is what's going to happen. They don't think about it like that. They just think, here is the situation. I must act. And they just roll the dice effectively. And if it comes up snake eyes, that's when you end up with no head. I've seen at least three people decapitated just because they made a simple error like that, of not thinking ahead of time what they wanted to be doing. It's sad really because these are people that could have lived otherwise meaningful lives, and they're just cut down in their prime. Although there is a case to be made that the kind of people that would make these decisions are the kind of people that you kind of want getting off the earth as soon as possible so that they're not infecting the gene pool. I know this is going in a really controversial direction but it's not necessarily a view that I share, it's just a view that some people have. There is an argument to be made for it, I'm not saying I necessarily subscribe to their newsletter or anything. 